dirt for hermits who like dirt. Now I'm punching the wheat. We'll, go, we'll have to go get this out of there. Is it Friday or Saturday? I don't know. It depends where you live. Blue Chip says that lowered the quality a lot. Uh, yeah, probably did. That's why we were checking it. Quality dropped, but it might be a network compression thing. So it still got a little pixely. Okay. Better than last season, but still oof. Okay, so people are saying that might be the Twitch encoder. Got it. No face cam. I'm down here in slot nine. Uh, face camera expands when we hit certain tipping milestones. We are 20 away from the first tipping milestone. Oh no, where's the abacus? This entire room is also a disaster area because I was trying to find my box of power supply cables. Where is the abacus? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. That's not ideal. So the computer tower is actually on my desk, so we might also have some additional fan noise because it normally would be under the desk. Um, but since it's on the desk, I can hold up the mirror and then you can see it. So, okay. Boy, this is... This is a whole thing. Everything right now is a whole thing. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, let's get some of these wheat seeds out. Uh, Magenta Avocado says, I've been thinking of getting an upgrade myself due to the price drop. Yeah, I mean, if you can do it, I'd do it. Like, I mean, I was trying to get as much as I could out of the current card, but it was definitely on its last legs. So, so like like I said, mine was from 2016. It was, it was time to replace it. Room 219B says, how's the graphics card supposed to affect stream quality? Uh, because it can encode uh, video with... Um... So, okay, if you think about uh, a bitrate target, I might say, hey, try to encode the video at 4,500 kilobits a second and use as much compression as you can to do that live so that we don't get us... Un like like how 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 many compression passes can you run in the amount of time that is acceptable for a live show and if it can run more compression passes or uh then it'll use 4500 kilobits a second better encoding video is a lot more expensive than decoding video Uh, so most of the stuff for my brother's move is going to be tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have a lot to say about that yet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, basically I can send Twitch data at 45 kilobits or 4,500 kilobits a second, but it will be more data because it's been more compressed. Like the, the bandwidth amount that Twitch allots me is based on whatever I can compress my footage down to. So, yeah. That boy says 2016 is old. It is for video encoding hardware. Greetings to Poland, Cold Steelman. Two generations of improvements in the video encoding hardware uh, really do add up in terms of quality. So I haven't actually gotten too aggressive with the changes I could make to the uh, encoding quality on the stream. But I could theoretically push it harder than I'm pushing it now. Since this is the first stream, though, since I got the hardware in, I don't I don't even have the case closed yet. The case is, like, sitting sideways on my desk. Like I said, I could hold the mirror up and you'd be able to see it, um, except for the fact the camera's still small. But uh, that's fine. Um, 
Tips are welcome via paypal.me slash Joe Hills and YouTube Super Chat. I got one of the NVIDIA 30 series. They all have basically comparable uh, NVENC encoders, which is the... Um, the hardware video encoder is basically going to have the same performance ac across all three chips. Now, for compositing, which is when you have multiple layers over top of each other in OBS or whatever, you might want more VRAM. So if you're doing a stream with minimal compositing, you don't care about how much VRAM you're using. Uh, for me, I do a lot of compositing, so I might want more, especially if I want to be able to future-proof my stream to stream in 4K or something down the line. Um, which we're not there yet, but since I had my last card for six years, I have to ask myself, like, hey, in three years, am I going to want to be streaming at 1440p or 4K? Maybe. Maybe. So, good to have the option open. I also do some VR streams, and having a higher performance card actually would matter for VR experiences uh, a lot differently. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll just put that there. I had a 1080 Founders Edition, which was the very first 1080 uh, that came off the line in 2016. And it was just starting to die. Like, some of the ports weren't working anymore. Uh, it just kind of seemed like it wasn't working properly in certain ways at times, where it's like, mm, is this... Maybe it's fine. I was just trying to get as much life out of it as I could before I replaced it. Um, but, yeah. I'm looking at, like, the GPU usage. So, like, video encode right now is only running at 26%. If I start the recording, it jumps to 50%, which means I could actually probably set the encoder settings a little bit higher without choking the card. Um, right now we're not using too much, uh, VRAM. So, yeah, we're doing good on the whole. Alrighty, have a good night, Beth Ann. Whew. I really need to actually do some work over here, but, like, my brain is kind of fried from all the hardware stuff. Um... It seems like PCIe 3 versus 4 is only like a 1% quality difference with the 3080 cards. It's not going to kill you if you got an older motherboard. But yeah, this motherboard can support PCIe 4. Um, yeah, the card itself is like glo continuously glowing like a rainbow. I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> I'll worry about that later. What's going on with those trees? Oh yeah, that's part of my landscaping. Um, these trees are like dying. Ooh, dying trees. At 93 frames a second when I look toward the city. At 120 frames a second when I look there. I also replaced the trunks with, like, basalt and drip stone and stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. I gotta turn off the... The ring light I had set up as a, a shop light for the computer case... And it's just too bright. Like, I'm looking at it at a weird angle, and it's, like, overwhelming me. Okay. <clears throat> okay. There we go. It's like, ah, uh, my eyes are hurting. <laughs> yeah, so if you, if you want to see the glow tree texture at night, why don't we head over to the top of, like, Scar's tree and let the sun set, and then we'll fly on back. I see Cub has Loki horns now. That's not terrifying. Okay, so you can actually see... I don't have a zoom or anything on this, but you can kind of see how the trees are, like, self-lit. Okay. 
Oh, it says Yakhorns from MCC earlier. Cool, cool, cool. Do I have any ideas for the prank thing? Uh, I'm not going to be talking about that on stream because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. But yeah, as you can see, we got some lit up areas here. We got some dark areas. Gigapies. We got an eagle. We got a riverboat. Then over there in my area, those trees actually are lit up in an interesting way. Which I think is cool. Yeah, I'm, I mean, the thing is, once the computer goes under my desk, I won't be able to see the rainbow lights for right now because the computer is directly next to me, like, with all the fans, like, blowing on me. It's, I'm like, they're, at least they're not blowing into the microphone, but, like, my, the, like, this arm over here is getting all the air from the computer. It's weird. Hey, KZ, welcome. Yeah, happy Saturday. Glad you could be here. Am I going to do the interior of the boat? Oh, I didn't make the boat, so no. Unless that's like an open invite. Like, hey, anybody who wants to do the interior of the boat can. So let's get up here in the sky, and you can see that those trees actually kind of glow with kind of a ghostly pallor that I think is cool. And then some of the other trees have like bits of the lichen on them as well. So that's, that's fun. Uh, I'm excited about that. I might actually come underneath here and, like, maybe there, there's some, uh, maybe more torches here than we technically need. So there should be some smoke coming out of, like, yeah. Is there a hidden torch? Yep. So let's take a look at how this came out. Yeah, see, that feels interesting. And then we can head back uh, and look at it in the distance now that we've removed those extra things. Hey, welcome, Chris Logic. Uh, hopefully, whatever is push you to YouTube instead of Twitch tonight is not something that changed about my graphics encoder. Ren said he would bribe somebody to do the inside of the boat while he was away. Oh, that's funny. Sammy says, ooh, the trees turned out great with that lichen. Yeah, let's uh, go check that out again. From the skies! So now that the ground is darker, that looks even kind of more distinctive there. Like, if somebody is, like, looking at that in the distance, like, those trees sure have something weird and ghostly about them, right? So I think I think we nailed that. Okay. So what I might end up doing is doing some experimental higher resolution streams where I send a higher resolution uh, stream data to uh, YouTube than I do to Twitch. Because Twitch doesn't allow transcoding for me. So I could send YouTube 4K data while I send Twitch, like, 1080p data. Because the new, the new card should let me encode at a higher maximum. But Twitch doesn't want me to send them more than a certain amount of data because I, like, won't sign their contract. Whereas YouTube is just like, Joe, you got 20 megabits a second of data to send us? Go ahead and throw it our way. If people want to watch it at a lower bit rate, we'll let them transcode it, right? I ordered from a ma from the manufacturer. I don't think it actually says which one I ordered, though. Yeah, it just says, like, the general model. Which is good, because the manufacturer isn't paying me 
like I I went which manufacturers are selling things at MSRP, which models that they're selling at or close to MSRP, and which of those models seem reasonable. So for my use case. Once again, most people don't like stream VR and do video production for a living. So most people don't necessarily need this graphics card. I'm not going to come out here and be like, oh yeah, this is the perfect graphics card for every gamer. Because it's like, like I said last night, that's not even a label I apply to myself. I'm an artist who plays a lot of games. I'm not a gamer. So like, I don't know what a good gamer graphics card is. But for a video production professional who plays a lot of games or a a self-employed artist who can write this off as a business expense like this is this is a viable office tool um why are so many people commenting about viewership tonight that's against the rules don't do that that's i honestly i don't if there are actually a very low number of viewers that's an excuse for me to stop and restart the stream with higher graphical settings and keep experimenting so I'm not going to say that I'm going to throw a tantrum and turn the stream off because people are complaining about low viewership a lot. But I might have a tantrum tunity? Upper tantrumity? Uh, and go back in here and uh, mess with the uh, thing. Are people tipping via PayPal? or Actually, we haven't gotten any tips tonight. Is there something wrong with the tipping system? Or are people like, oh, if this guy can buy a new graphics card, he doesn't need money. <laughs> okay. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter how many people are, are viewing. So, okay, Tantrum Tunity is, op is uh, appropriate. Okay, I'm going to stop and restart the stream with slightly higher graphical settings, and I want to see if it breaks anything. So be ready to refresh.